Welcome back to my messy studio where I talk about books and other stuff, but mostly books. Um, I'm feeling rather icky, so Bob Ross is with me today feeding me my favorite twinings of London, vanilla, and peppermint. The hot water, it will bud. <sighs> I wanted to grab some of my grandfather's books today because I really want to start putting them away into the world, right? So there's many little libraries around my city and I'm quite excited to, to add some interesting stuff. Oh man, first time in paperback? Might have to save that. Godmakers by Frank Herbert. I wanted to look at some of the years that that uh, these books were established or published just to uh, figure out which ones I wanted to send to the sci-fi museum. There's a sci-fi uh, museum. So this one being first time in paperback, I might set that one aside um, just because that seems rather rare. I have the lost, the last dog Fight. <laughs> the Last Dog Fight by Martin Caden. Oh my goodness, this, these are gonna be really hard to get through. If I don't know, <laughs> this seems like I'm um, like World War Two, possibly aviation type novel. I'm definitely going to send that to a library somewhere near you. Well, somewhere near me anyway oh, by Martin Caden the last dog fight I'm determined to say all of these correctly this is 74 so I'm definitely sending this one off to the library I have uh, my little stolen Walmart basket here to my right or to my left <laughs> Stephen Hunter, Black Light. I don't know very much about sci-fi. I should have done a little bit of research before pouring into these, but it might have been more interesting not to. I really have no idea. Let's see, the national bestseller author of Point of Impact. So, Stephen Hunter, I would say that one's going to a library for sure. Uh, Robert Hemlin, Future History Stories, the complete one volume, complete in one volume, the past through tomorrow, major event. It was $1.78 when this was purchased. This seems like I, I might want to keep this one as well since it's a complete volume, copyright 67. I don't really, yeah. I might do some research and add that to the pile of items. Um, Dean Coots, Coots, Coots. Um, those, these are definitely going to a library. Uh, I currently have Lightning, a gripping novel, fast-paced and satisfying. Says People Magazine. Yeah, Dean Coots are definitely just going to the library. Uh, these are probably from the eighties, I would guess. Yeah, eighty-eight. Yep, 88. It's, it's like rather old, but not detailed. Ugh, we have another Koontz. He was very into Koontz, apparently. Uh, this one's Strangers. Let's see what year this is. Let's see. Oh, for Twilight Eyes. Okay, for Strangers. Okay. A handful of total strangers discover the shocking truth behind their worst fears. A unique spellbinder that captures the reader on that first page, exciting, enjoyable, and an intensely satisfying read, says Mary Higgins Clark. Thank you, Mrs. Clark. Ms. Clark. Strangers. Let's see. 86. 86. Definitely going to the library. I wonder if I just ripped that off. Great. Love that. 
cover printed in USA, publishing in the New American Library. I hope this isn't very old. I mean, it's very old. The Long Afternoon of Earth by Brian Aldis. By Brian Aldis. It's very old. Oh my goodness, 61. Ooh, this is very old. 61. It's very old, but I did just rip off the back cover. <laughs> I totally did. I swear I did. I might send that to a library. I haven't decided. I can't decide. These are really hard to decide. Let's see. Rogue in Space by Frederick Brown. A bitter man tangles with a unique being. Oh my. This one is rather intact. This one is rather intact and this is 57. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is 57. This is definitely going, oh my gosh, this is definitely going to the library. Or museum, I keep getting those. <laughs> oh my goodness. Second printing, 71. Oh, so this must be the second printing. So this is 71, okay. <sighs> I was like, oh my gosh, do I have a 61? <laughs> Another Dean Koontz going off to the library. Exciting stuff, says Publishers Weekly. I bet it is. I've never read it. I've never felt uh, the, the pull to read any of his novels. 77, Berkeley edition, 85. So it was... Yeah, I would say that's probably second edition, huh? I mean, that would make sense. Let's see if it has any date on the price. Ooh, this was 75 cents. <laughs> I will deliberate at a later date. I mostly just want to get the ones out that I know are definitely going to the library. Forktail Devil, the P38 by Martin Caden. Another, okay, author of Flying Forts. Another interesting uh, novelization of flight of flight flyers <laughs> flight flyers doing flight things let's see this is what year is this 71 library me thinks mind flight by stephen golden Can never get the lighting correct. <laughs> Whatever. Mind Flight by Stephen Golden. I think I'm just keeping this to read it. 78. I'm definitely keeping that to read it. The Genesis Machine by James Hogan. <laughs> 78. kind of mangled <laughs> it's kind of mangled but it's a very neat cover these covers are very cool oh I think this one is Book five, right, yep. Isaac Asimov, book five, unfortunately. For Foundation and Earth, that's definitely going to the library. Uh, unfortunately, this is um, book number five in a series of books by Asimov, Asimov. So I am not going to save that one specifically for my best friend who definitely wanted Asimov, but it's probably not going to be perfect. Copyright 78, we have Retief at Large by Cle Keith Warmer. First book publication. Oh, I might keep that for the, for the museum. It was the first book publication for Keith Lautner, Lawmer. 
Cupid Palmer. Cosmic Diplomacy and Machiavellian Intrigue? What? That's definitely going to the museum. Rebels of the Red Planet by Charles Fontenay. By Charles Fontenay. 25 cents? <laughs> 25 cents for a little paperback. Let's see, what is the copyright? It doesn't have a copyright. What? It doesn't have a copyright. <coughs> Very dusty. Dolphin Boy. The sea had bred him. Man tried to destroy him by Roy Myers. Very interesting. Very interesting. 67. First edition, 67. This is first edition. This is first edition of Dolphin Boy. I have a first edition of Dolphin Boy. No, I don't know what that means. But <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that's definitely going to the museum. It's rather intact. I have Sleeping Planet by William R. Burkett Jr. Sleeping Planet, 64, 64 and 65, first printing in 67, second printing in 70. How am I supposed to know what number printing? How am I supposed to know? The covers really kind of date them for me and in a way that like I can figure out like how old they are kind of. Oh, I feel like, oh, wait, no. I keep getting Philip E. High mixed up with Philip E. something else who wrote, um, Do Androids Dream of whatever, you know. Is it Philip E. High? I don't think so. The Time Mercenaries. I did kind of want to keep this. Just because it's a very short book. It's very short. So I could obviously keep that and donate it at a later date. I do just have a couple more. They're very... They're very old and very dusty. The Valley of Creation by Edmund Hamilton. Edmund Hamilton. Beasts, men, or aliens. Word, Sorcery, and Science, The Valley of Creation by Edmund Hamilton, Lancer Book, 67, okay, Copyright 48 was the first, yeah, this is definitely, this is 67, so I'm going to definitely donate that. 